It's the world. I'm MP World. We live on Twitch right now, man. We're going to check out this Madden 24 first look. Uh, we already played the beta, so we know what's really going on, man. Got some chips on deck. I just want to sit back and see what uh what type of cap we got going on. Let's see what's up, man. Cut this shit up. Oh, where my audio at, bro? Where the audio at? Oh, wait, no, no, no. We, we, need, we need to hop on the sound bar, bro. Yeah, there we go. I don't know who these players are sitting in the chairs. Well, we encourage you to tune in to the MCS here because on one side, we got our defending Madden Bowl champion. The two Can y'all hear in the chat? Guys. And on the other side, we got one of the most popular players in the game and somebody who's very good in the booth as well. There's none other than Clef the God. To my left, we have Madden Designer Spade hanging out with us. Uh, we got to do this last year remotely. We now get to do it in person, Spade. From from a perspective of a designer, how much fun is this time of year as everybody is so excited to get Madden? Who is Diggs burning it's like that? Crazy fun, man. It's a, it's a long cycle. A lot of hard work goes in. and It's a very exciting moment to get a chance to see players finally get their hands on the game and get a chance to see that hard work pay off. Well, we already started off with the touchdown, so we should probably let people know what we're doing here. Uh, these guys playing uh, just a race game here. Dez rocking the Chiefs. Clef is rocking the Bills. They're playing on all pro on one side. Clef is using the Broncos playbook, and Dez is using the Bengals playbook. So, we can see a little bit of everything here today. As Man Fresh has been tuned down for my first play, you know, he was Man Fresh when I just threw a fade, and, and Diggs just cooked him off the line. Did that sound muffled? Before I could even talk about it, you, you got right into it. But obviously, if you watch NFL football, that is not the way the game is played. So we went through and we tuned press chances, especially if you got a good receiver. Um, don't mean that you can't press. You still can press in spots. But we want to make sure personnel matters. And if you're walking a defense and back to the line to press a receiver, uh, you should care about who you got there. Like, the fear that it could go to a big play is what we wanted to create. So what you're saying is people Appreciate that follow, Baconator. Bro, I'm a hydrate, bro. I, I just don't got no drink on me. Don't waste it. Immensely. Like, the feedback we get from our players is so important to us because with all the testing that we can do, we can't replicate the testing of thousands and thousands of players. So, our beta, we saw more players in our beta this year than ever before. We got more. They passed the scum kick? Ever before. And man coverage being OP, man press being OP. These were things that our players called out in. And we, we took a tuning pass to adjust that. Bro, you just said man press is OP? What? No, it's not, bro. Man coverage sucks on Madden, bro. Are you kidding me? Because of the feedback we got. What? You said, Juice, come on, bro. You know if a motherfucker line up in man coverage and you got a fast receiver, if you get enough time in the pocket, bro, that's going deep, bro. And if, a, if you're running man on a motherfucker and they run a corner route, come on, bro. Post route, corner route, it's over with, bro. Come on, bro. It could potentially be more tuned and passes. As the game lives, we want to be in tune with our players and we want to be able to react swiftly if we can. It's, it's the, the favorite two word live service. That's what and I love running man. Yeah. See that play right there. We saw some of the new locomotion in the game. Um, those rat catches and, and passing to the flash and drag routes. It seems like the, it's just a whole lot smoother than yeah, losing speed on those plays. Yeah, a big effort went into allowing receivers to maintain. Yeah, they nerf gun tight. I've seen that. I love that. Before you've experienced a very frustrating moment when you see a receiver that's big as defensive back. Wow. He should have threw that way earlier. But uh, you see a situation where the receiver beats the defensive back, and as you throw it, he slows down to make the catch. The defender does not slow down, and it's a very frustrating moment. So a lot of effort went into allowing receivers to maintain their momentum. So these rat catches now. If you hit a receiver, what the fuck? It, it's a beautiful play. It feels good. It's smooth, like you said, and also kind of leads to a uh, very big game. Ain't these two of the best mutt players on earth? Uh, they, they get to the ball way faster. Clef, you called it out. Like, we, we tune zones. Um, obviously, zone rating is important here, but if these players can That's a the dot. ball, uh, we tuned it where they react faster. Not only did we tune it where they react to the ball faster, we made them more aggressive. 
in the past, oftentimes if they were behind, if they were positioned behind the receiver, uh, they would throw it to play the receiver. But this year, certain players, we're telling them to be more aggressive and play the ball. And the result... Yeah, the running is improved on here, though. I love the running on 24. Uh, tackles at the catch point, and you're seeing a lot more knockouts as a result of it. And so as a franchise guy where, you know, ratings are, are all the be-all, end-all, mm -hmm. if I have a guy with a higher zone rating, who's going to react faster than somebody with a lower zone rating? Oh, hell no. I mean, you'll be able to see it. Like, this is not something you'll need to go back and, and time it up and see what it might Yeah, you'll see it. Another thing to look for when we go to those draft classes. Find, find the high zone guys that are going to react. And there's one of those knockout animations you know, you're seeing. Absolutely. Uh, and that was a high pass, too. So I want to talk briefly about that. High pass was something that was used a lot. It was a meta last uh, cycle as well. And, and we wanted to. Uh, it was a meta everywhere. Not it was just but franchise. It was everywhere. Nigga, high pass was crazy. Uh, for one. You now have a chance of throwing in an accurate pass when you attempt a high pass. Uh, that's on the passing side. On the catching side, if the receiver has to contort his body in a weird way to make the catch, he can just drop it because he's contorting weird. Uh, so we uh, addressed it on the catching side. Oh, they're the best two mud players? Okay. Well, these boys are dog shit and rags, bro. I don't know if these boys could play without them abilities and X factors, bro. Whoa. That's a dot. Why are they replaying this shit? Hell yeah, I expect them to be good. High pass. I think some new messaging on there. At the bottom, it said high throw, drop. So he talked about, A, there's a chance, you know, he was kind of in coverage there, so making that high catch would be tough. But it's going to tell you if your receiver just straight up dropped the ball and it wasn't deflected. It was just a drop. Absolutely. Just giving you as much feedback as possible. Interesting. You whether or not the pass was accurate or not, and then we're going to tell you the result. Des, does this feel somewhere in between? Man, tell them, Baconator. It was the year of the escape artist. Not in 23, it felt like they were, it was the year of putting that escape artist uh, back in jail cell so they can't escape. What the does hell? Like somewhere in the middle, Des, is you're scrambling with, with Patrick Mahomes because it seems more fluid but not quite as OP as it was in 22. Oh, it feels perfect. I feel like it's just the right balance where, like, the defense, the defense can still catch up to him, but at the end of the day, it's Patrick. Bro, do these guys keep it real about anything? Like, are they going to say their honest opinion or agree with everything? That they're saying is new and improved. Going home with Josh Allen, like they're gonna make their plays. I think that it is. Uh, I'm really liking like the balance on huh? it. Alright, this I, I think we're gonna get cross. Uh oh. Little, little little PA slot cross. This was a meta play of all meta plays. Uh oh. It, it was you got took advantage of the defense because how the flip works. Talk to me how it's different. You boys in trouble. Yeah, so we would see our players uh, run this play, flip it, and instead of the players crossing the field, you just would give that route, that seam route, you would give it to the receiver. If you had some speed end. over there, uh, it gave defenses fits. Uh, and it was a, a rather... You boys in trouble. We just said, if you're going to flip the play, we're going to make the tight end cross the field. He's going to keep his route. And, and uh, our, our video game defensive coordinators are going to sleep a whole lot better because of that thing. <laughs> All your PA slot cross tight end fans got some bad news for you. Gun tights in trouble. Manipulate that so the wide receiver gets the gets the route you wanted. And you can already see the difference here. <laughs> the clock adjusted defense. Oh my god. The coverage was a lot better down here. Uh oh. I really like that chance too because it takes a lot. I love time. that. Just one of the quick tights. You know, everyone complains about the quick hikes. I love that. that. It takes away one of the most OP plays. And there you go. Oh, hell no. That was a play I think you were looking at a year or two ago. That ball would sail over his shoulder. You wouldn't, you, unless you were clicked on, you weren't making a play on that one. Yeah, obviously, you know, when we're talking about a new game, I think we tend to, to steer towards talking about the offensive changes. Mm -hmm. there, there are players who want to do They want to go score. You wish EA so took advice from casual people who play? Word, I think you keep bringing up because my players are playing with 99 and two X factors per player. It's, it's true. Your offense back will give them something defensively that gives them a chance to counter. Right. And, and once the game gets in the hands of our players and they get a chance to last, at some point, 
offense or defense is going to swing the pendulum in their favor. But it's a, it's a very tough job for us to try to balance, but we really put a lot of time and effort into trying to make sure there's something that counters everything. They stopped DB yeah, DB Fire. Yes, sir. One thing I'm noticing from think a little good. Toxic. What up, Toxic? Is how they, the the cornerbacks and the safeties they don't really need knockout abilities to break on the ball, get knockouts. Obviously, last year knockout was probably one of the. Damn, bro. Apologies, y'all. Appreciate the follow, bro. I, th I think most would say it was the I, most important ability. You can definitely without make that argument. And whereas players with knockout are still going to knock out more passes this year, it's not a necessity. A player is there, and he is there. From Pittsburgh, bro. The players should have a, a chance to knock the ball out, especially depending on the catching track and rating of the receiver. Well, it does feel like, uh, as, we're, as we're getting to see a little bit of those run plays, if you're at Shout home, out Australia, baby. talking about the, the catch animations, those catch windows. If you're up at home and you're like, I'm a runner, okay? I, I want to tote the ball. I want to pound the rock. The new and improved blocking scheme, I think, makes running a, a viable offense. Bro, here in 24. bro, yeah, a lot. I just told y'all earlier, bro, the running is insane. And I was telling my boys in the group chat last night, I was like, yo, the thing that's going to be OP this year is the run game, bro. Is this is this this year is for the runners, bro? When it's a run, you're gonna see some new uh, pool blockers if you want to run toss and, and those plays to get you outside. But I think the thing that I'm most excited about is our targeting. Like, in the past, we had an issue where blockers would try to determine where the running back wanted to go. And that led to them just being... It's bad. Yes, it's it's bad. Yeah, like, I, you didn't know where they was going to go. This year, they're just very... I do agree with them on that. The open field, yeah, USA. The United States, brother. They get out. Oh, no. Sticky. One, uh, one also... Uh, one, they yeah, this 24, Chopper. Pretty man, they said last year there was a real big problem with like receivers bumping off their routes, and uh, you know just random things would happen. Right now, I'm seeing just really fluid routes. People, uh, like fast six years, toxic. Off their like their patterns, and I'm really liking that honestly. Yeah, effort <laughs> went into that too. It's crazy. I didn't know if that would be noticed, especially considering it's that first game. But uh, that's a real frustrating point for a user because everything like that that you see, it feels like. Illegal touching, uh, illegal holding, uh, PI is something. You look it, like man, it looked like they fixed the shoulder pads a little bit. I could be wrong though. What y'all think from the beta? It seemed like when I passed him, I'm getting like super, not super animation, but like I'm getting a, a much better pass rush animation. Like they're really trying to rush the passer rather than just sit there and you know play patty cake with it. Yeah, CJ Stroud, Hall of Fame, especially on these play action plays. You were basically canceling out your defensive line or your pass rushers, even considering the fact that it's a run. They're going to go right into that pass rush assignment, which is going to allow them to shed blocks a, a bit faster. Nice swat. I going to that play action is yeah. going to be the move this year. Well, you saw right there, a, a defender behind the receiver went for a swat instead of playing the receiver, which is so refreshing to it see. It is, man. It is. There's so many times in the past I felt like if I didn't click on and do something, nothing would happen. And that's a frustrating moment as well. Why is he throwing it so late, bro? Bro, it's like they're like, it's like they're like trying to show how good the defense is by making late reads or something, bro. Y'all get what I'm saying? Cause like I know these guys play Madden all day. I would have threw that right there, and he would have threw it too. But it's like he's just waiting, and he high passed it for no reason. I feel like there might be an agenda behind these dudes playing this, bro. Hey, bro. I don't know, yo. They trying to they trying to gas up the defense, bro. On my life, they are, bro. Because you had some of those drops last year where it would just be like a pretty light collision. Mahomes with hot route master. Oh, you should have caught that. Well, you said you can't you can't fast pass it no more. Really? Yeah, it feels appropriate. I played the beta. I felt like I was getting a couple fast ones off, a couple hot ones. I think take a note of as we're going through this game. That was a fast pass right there. That wasn't bad. Guys haven't lapped up what they're going to be playing this year. They're they're going around is is a lot of credit to the playbook team because last year big cut down in plays. This year it feels like yeah, it's twenty four. Uh, Shane. 
every single team. Uh, oh, you got to have Slinger. To reduce playbooks, try to get some of the clutter out. Uh, some players were not happy with that reduction. Oh, uh, nice play. That was, nasty. Play that was a nice play. Back, that might be something new as well. Oh! oh we're talking about playbooks. We have the fake reverse jet sweep. To the house. Uh, this, this, these are, these are uh, two mutt players playing right now. Shane. Has, uh, new stuff in it. Well, I think, think Clough's gonna get the game and be like, all right, I gotta lie, I get this oh, wide receiver right. power fake jet. Like, I was, I went cross side right there. I didn't know, you know where the ball was going. We had some people going left, right. That was, that was. Crazy. I mean, that. By the way, that is. What y'all think about that? Essential uh, NFL football. There's so much misdirection yeah. out there because these these defensive players are so fast and powerful. You think they gotta patch that? I wish they brought back some more defensive plays, bro. That's a good stuff, though. Like, I'm really liking like, this, the creativity in this game. I remember, like, last year in MTS, I was like, the only one on. That play was hard, though. I didn't just sweep and stuff, so I love stuff like that, honestly. Like, it's like, damn, stuff like that. They should have hopped in a dollar and let us see if that DB fire is still the way it is. I would not be surprised to see some off meta stuff. You're going to see yeah. somebody in, in a playbook run. running some stuff you have flat out never seen work. Never seen like, look, look at that blocking. That blocking is amazing, we got, we got bro. Toss plays, plays working, now. working in Madden again? Couldn't have tuned it up any better. Toss plays. Like I said, the run game, this open field targeting is something that you can feel. In Beautiful the run game. Up. You're going to call a run play, and you're going to see all types of surrounding getting action. They feel like they're not just running to, you know, empty. Ooh, yeah. I love to run, bro. And, and, and blocking people. They definitely are. Now, I don't want them to come saying, These blockers are actually picking up players, bro. Now let's talk about real-time AI adjustments. Uh, this is something that if the same run play is ran a number of times, and that number is going to vary depending on what difficulty you're on. But if you Big news. The same play over and over and over. Look at that you're linebacker see, the run fit shot the gap exactly. on the outside. Defensive players in the run gap, I mean, in run fit, what you're going to see these guys do is they're going to leave the reading react a lot. Faster. Big news. They're just going to shoot their guys. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be a tackle for a loss. Big news, bro. I remember when... We first started playing the Madden 24 beta, uh, or not, when Madden 24 got announced and they, were, and they were saying it was a make or break year and they were showing like a slight little bit of gameplay. I was saying there needs to be something like in the game where the AI picks up on, oh, this motherfucker been running gun tight all game. Oh, this motherfucker been running stretch all game. We need to react to that. He ran stretch six, seven times, bro. We got to react to that. That's fucking fire, bro. I love that a lot. I love that a lot. Doesn't mean that they're gonna always throw the play so it's up. not like 1988 games where like you ran the same play three times automatic TFL. Right. But what you're gonna see is a difference in their behavior. You're gonna see how quick they shoot the gap. That's a W. We need the AI to be smarter. The AI, it's like in real life, in real football, what what defense and what coach is gonna be like? Oh, the running stretch. We're not picking that up. Running stretch again. Fuck. We're not picking that up. Maybe they're not running stretch. Oh, the running stretch again. We're not picking that up. I like that. that. Does allow some of the more chess player play callers mm -hmm. to set it up, run some inside zone, some of those those inside a gap runs, mm -hmm. then hit them with a toss play. It, it would be beautiful, and that's what we want. We want to open up the playbook. We want players to feel more confident running other plays. Mm. I think that's gonna be a good man beater, just running running with the quarterback. Uh, up the crowd. Yeah, I was about to say the post play team went crazy too. You I do like the celebrations a lot more. Celebrations. We had new celebrations every year, but the thing that they did this year that I really like just emotion. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, look on the left side because I feel like oh, he did. Diggs, Diggs fried him. Oh my god. Yeah, he cooked that man. Don't see, throw me the ball. I think we're gonna see some of the improved downfield blocking here. The slip screen action. Look at look at it's the 62. offensive lineman. The offensive lineman is down the field and not just creating a convoy. And getting the action. Like getting in the field and getting down the field to get action. I love it. I like that. I one thing I'm already noticing that's really improved is the just the offensive line the IQ, honestly. Like you just saw him right there. He picked up last year, like he was just a lot of the time he would just whip on that block and really made screens unrunnable. So I'm really liking that. I'm going to record that clip and take it back to the guys that work on blocking those guys. Mm -hmm. And they got a hard job. I don't envy them. Square. Guys. Why is he throwing? Bro, do y'all see what I mean about them throwing it late? Bro, I'm trying to tell you. They're trying to. Bro. Y'all say what y'all want to say, bro. But they're like trying to beef up how good the defense is. And it's not that good, bro. I'm sorry. But a real mad player would have pressed square right now, bro. He turning around. I'd have been hit square, bro. Been hit square. 
Give me them at all. You kidding me? They put a lot of work, work in this shit. And that's true. You said either that or bro's cheeks. No, bro, they're not. They're not. They're not cheeks, bro. Too. I'm you telling you, they're trying to beef it up. I think it's pretty high. This game. I, I think, think, it's, it's, I think it's pretty high. And last year and years past, like you had to really play with zone drops on. That right there is like that's no zone drop. That's just him, you know, having awareness and IQ. Look at this. This is a stop. This is a default zone. Like this never. I'm telling you, this fat in the past, this never happened. Like he never get this much built. And then play this. This is a crossing. Y'all did a good job with movement. I think all of this, I think zone's playing better because of movement. Because last year, any other year before before next gen, like this dude would take so long to get to this ball. Yeah. He never gets this shit. Even if he was this deep, this no, still would be a like, Bro, I'm telling you, they running a side up on us, bro. They trying to get y'all to think this defense is, is crazy this year. It's good, but it's yeah, not that nice, bro. In this little window right here between them. But like, the movement is so much better. I like Juice, you're like miss, you're like taking everything I'm saying the wrong way, nigga. I'm not saying that the defense isn't reacting the way it should. That's not what the problem is, bro. I'm saying these niggas that are playing are making bad decisions on purpose to make the game look better, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. This little window right here. Yes, this is great that he's picking this up. Yes, that's that's great. I like from this but he view, threw that late on purpose, bro. That's what I'm telling you. Like he is reacting. Believe me or not, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Look at the safety reaction that for our casual players. The guys that just, you know, we play a, a time or two a week. Maybe they're not as well versed as zone drops and all the other good stuff. If they got good players in the zone in position yeah. to make plays, they should be able to make plays. Yeah, Club, let's see, like, on this play, uh, like a 10-yard dig route and uh, let's see, like, a cover three defense. You said because there's no plays? What you mean? Because uh, in years past, this is this is a money play. Throw that dig right behind the linebacker, and unless you're clicked on, it, it's probably completed. I don't see it, how those linebackers react here. See, look. You, bro, you see what I'm saying? He just told him to run a specific play. So they can show us how the linebackers react to something. I'm telling you, they're making them do shit like this to, to hype the game up, bro. Come on, bro. Like, they, he, he obviously made him throw it to R1. back and make the play. I mean, I love it. you love to see that. That's on defense. A lot of work went into it, man. So kudos to the coverage team. They got these guys playing a lot better. You got to be smarter when you're slinging the pigskin this year. Shit, I'm happy. Cause in my opinion, twenty-two defense, twenty-three defense was ass, bro. Oh my a little God. separation. Oh my God. And you get a chance to see some of that momentum. Like Diggs never slows down, never has to slow down. So those leads, you know, those pass leads, we tune pass lead in a bit, so you can lead a bit more now. Mm -hmm. So just being able to lead a receiver on a go route. It looks like, and you'll see it here. You're not seeing the up back coming up and catching the ball. You're actually seeing the returner. Who thought we'd be sitting here talking about special teams? But uh, special teams was really massaged this year. New formations on regular kick return. I do uh, see that, right? Right, Lee. Formations and uh, onside kick return formations. So, like you just alluded to, a lot of people do the scum kick. They probably kick it to you once and see if you really got skills in it. So, is that why they keep kicking kick it to me, the Dean? They're like, this dude is not, he's not returning. <laughs> that might be why, Nick. But yeah, like you said, the blocking is going to set up and, and the actual returner is going to come up and make the kick. So I might be able to house a kick that, that's, that was kicked short. Someone is going to scum kick and it's going to get take, uh, take it to the house. I'm calling it now. Oh, oh. the drop off the high pad. Bro, are y'all understanding what I'm saying, bro? Maybe I'm tripping, but he, he would have threw that the triangle right there, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. They're trying to make but more shit happen gonna, for the viewers like that are watching the gameplay, bro. Gun kick and it's gonna get sick. Uh, take it to the house. If they were really trying to show up, like he he would have hit triangle, bro. I get what he's doing, waiting for that read, but I don't know, bro. Maybe I'm tripping. Oh, oh. the drop off the high pass into Jordan Poyer's hands, and I don't think I could be wrong. I don't think Jordan Poyer has some like pick artists on him, so you're seeing. I'm able to make an open field interception without the ability. You said it was the bar above yeah, the quarter time and play to, clock area? Probably, gonna have to reprogram themselves. probably the momentum. So much to so think to do. Yeah, I mean, you got yeah, to momentum think more. about it. So you got to be careful. You got to pick your spots. It, it's interesting. This does feel like a game with a lot of the changes. There's a lot of habit breaking that's going to have to happen because we, we've been overcompensating for certain things that, you know, worked maybe a little differently than, than you guys wanted it to. 
now you've spent some time tuning it, and people are going to have to change how they play. Absolutely. In office, I still walk people to the line, and I press, and it, it takes once for me to get beat and go, okay. I gotta, All right, maybe I should. Yeah, i got to remember. It's yeah, they're like trying that. to yeah, that's exactly, but they're trying to show us that some of that shit's not happening this year, like high passes, because they they're consistently throwing high passes, like often, which is good though. Bill's got it back. So in twenty four, we wanted to make sure that scrambling quarterbacks, the mobile quarterbacks, felt mobile, even if you're not scrambling. The way that Clef is getting out the pocket, he's not necessarily scrambling, but he's able to get out of the pocket and make plays. But at the same time, uh, Dez could contain, and that contain is going to pretty much keep him from. Why do they keep scrambling out the pocket? Keep Allen in right there. Absolutely. Yeah, but you know, you know, Clef just finds Travis Gabriel Davis down the field. I mean, he's Clef the he's not called Clef the Mortal, he's Clef the guy. Just want to let you know though, you're not gonna be able to screenshot this and be like, see, I beat Dez and I'm wanting to know. It looks like they got some new cleats on her too. See, you got it's how you start. It ain't always how you finish. They it's how you start, it's, it's only how you, how you start. start. It's <laughs> only how you start. You know, we start off one and up. Maybe. This is where Dez should have brought his belts here, just like laid them out and be like, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you're if you're wanting to compete, if you want to maybe match up with one of these guys, 1.7 million dollars on the line in the NCS season this year. Registration is now open. The ultimate kickoff, first tournament of the season, September 5th and 6th. So make sure you sign up today. You never know. But let's be clear, we didn't know this man Dez last year, and all he did was show up and win two belts. So if you're out there going, I don't have a chance to this, uh, that's you, true. You don't know that until you sign up. I'm that's running a good cover to Wimber, and I see my safety like. How he's getting to the sideline, he's not like strafing. He's like, you know what I'm saying? He's kind of running over there. Yeah. The he's not tall. strafing, but he's also not sprinting. It's right. somewhere in the middle. Yeah, so it's the new loco type. You're going to see these guys do read steps first, and then you're going to see them go in the crossover run. So I like that. Clef, that's a great call out because he's not in strafe, but he still has his hips turned. He can run, but he's still facing the quarterback. I, I actually do like that because sometimes your safeties, they'll just back pedal, you know what I'm saying? And then turn around last minute when somebody's behind them. So. To see them strafing like that is fire, bro. That's fucking, that's a W. This is Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with what they're doing defensively. I love better defense on Madden, bro. I'm just saying they're pl they're trying to play it up for us to get hype about the improvements. Again, this is authentic to the sport. You mm -hmm. see these guys, they don't just turn around and just run to the spot. Well, it's nice oh. to see because I think if, if you're using like They're just spamming you know, high throws, bro. It's the same thing. Absolutely. We're now seeing the CPU able to do that. Yeah. And this is something that, again, people are going to have to reprogram themselves. In the past, if you was on strafe and you held sprint, you just strafe still. Yeah. But this year, if you're holding both triggers, you're going to yeah. turn that your crossover. Yeah. yeah, you're going to cross over this year. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like that. I've, seen, I've seen Dez run some RPOs. RPOs are kind of dangerous here, especially with that improved blocking. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. It's a scary year. If you're, if you're thinking about RPO, running some RPOs, your offense, this might be the year to do it early. Oh, shit. It's a great year to see just how much of a chess match this sport is. Mm -hmm. If you want to mix in, pass, run, RPO, a little bit of QB sneak here. E-Money, what up, bro? The defense guessing. I'm seeing a lot of new, like, tackle animations. Mm -hmm. Is there is there new tackling techniques in the game? There are. Oh. So, Nick, you're going to hate this, but conservative tackle has been your No! Yeah, I know. I, I'm not going to accidentally mess up my tackle again. I'm, oh, I'm out, guys. I knew you were going to have that reaction, but conservative tackle has been replaced with wrap tackle. It's still pressing A or X, depending on what console you're on, but you're going to see these guys try to wrap up the ball carrier, and the outcome is going to vary depending on speed, strength. Interesting. Uh, what y'all think about that? The speed of the ball carrier. If they're moving at low speeds, you're going to see different animations. So you'll see defensive backs wrap up legs because that's authentic to the sport. You'll see these big guys hit a ball carrier up high and drive them backwards. Oh, what the f how I didn't pick I that off? Throws. They're possible in this game. They're especially possible. with the good with especially with the good quarterback. That's a cover sack right there. Sack. He's sitting in the pocket and it does it doesn't feel like they have six, seven, eight seconds to throw right. the ball. The pass rush has certainly been key. Right, but it's also not that you know, as soon as you drop back it's, it's not unfun. Down. Exactly. Mm, that pass rush this getting there. Play actions in a situation. Probably weren't running right. the ball shotgun right. play action on first and ten. Right. I don't know if it was a pass commit done there, but that's exactly the behavior you can expect to see if you pass commit on a play action pass. Look at him back off with press on, <laughs> on Diggs. 
Des- no, 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 dude, not happening again. I don't care that there's 50 seconds left. You're not getting another one on me. Hey, they getting there. They're trying to hype up the defense in this video. That's all I'm getting to. Game two of the best, battling it out. First game of Madden 24. Uh, and guys, before we get out of here, I'm curious. You've gotten to play the game, full 20 minutes of gameplay. So I'm going to start with you. What's the biggest change you felt or saw between last year and then your first try here at Madden 24? Um, I'll say catching everything around catching. You know, just the animations are a thousand times better. It makes you more comfortable with throwing a check down and also letting the computer check it, uh, catch it for you. You don't have to swerve your way into an animation. All the animations feel good. And they feel fluid. Guys, how about you? Uh, it's gotta be like the playbooks. I mean, there's, there's like every single formation I call a game, like I feel like I called every formation. There was about two or three looks that I liked in every single one of them. Uh, so many things they added that I liked. The fake to the sweep that I hit, up, <laughs> hit him with, like it was, you know, it's all it's great. I, I can speak for everybody, Spade, that, that we're excited for Madden 20. We appreciate you hanging out with us. And, uh, cannot wait for this game to come out because it feels like, you know, we, we say it every year that every game is different, but you guys put in a lot of work to make this game feel very different. A ton of work. Look at these two these two dudes up front sitting there like, man, this game is shit for real, bro. <laughs> it's like no, bro. It's like no. It's like no. Uh, thanks for having me for one. But obviously, I want to thank the players because we watch so much of the, the gameplays, everything from YouTube videos to streams and NCS games. And we get a chance to see how our players play the game, and that allows us to know what needs to be tweaked, tuned, massaged, and changed. And really excited about what we was able to do here on Madden 24, and I can't wait for our players to get it. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. If you want to get your hands on Madden 24, make sure you pre-order the game now. Worldwide launch is August 18th. You're not going to want to miss out on this one. And a reminder, guys, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications because we got plenty more content from the gaming side coming out here. Lots of Madden 24 content. So stay tuned, and we can't wait for the release of Madden 24. What y'all think, man?